using an old, rather neglected bike for this demo. First I'll get the chain off, a chain that will get a good lube later on. A horizontal quick release tool is easier to use than the more common vertical types. I'll replace this quick release link with the new one on the right later. Removing the chain without scratching the frame is easy enough by just lifting the chain clear. This is a standard square taper bottom bracket, so I'll use an 8mm Allen wrench to remove the crank bolts. I'll use a standard crank puller to remove the cranks. Just one turn will break the crank free of the spindle. After that, it just slides off. And the other side. This BB is rough. The bearings are worn. I'll remove it and install the BB30 bearing kit. I'll remove the left non-drive side lock ring first. Breaking the cartridge BB free and removing it is pretty easy. Removing the old grease from the BB shell. Because the new BB30 bottom brackets bearings are external to the BB shell, I need to face it. This ensures a perfectly square fit between the BB shell and bearing cup. I'll just seat the tool square in the shell first up. Cutting oil to facilitate cutting and preserve the facing tool's edges. It's always a good idea to tap your BB shell's threads when replacing or maintaining your bottom bracket. The face of the BB shell is the main target here of course. I'll turn both sides evenly until the tapping dies are completely inside the BB shell. Now to oil the face, ready to cut. I'll increase the pressure of the cutters on the face bit by bit. A few turns should do it. The drive side is done. Now for the non-drive side. Clean away the detritus. That will get a complete clean later today. Clean as a whistle. A coat of grease on the BB shell threads and the bearing cups makes for smooth installation and much easier removal. It's also highly unlikely you'll have a creaking bottom bracket down the road. Turn the unit opposite to the threads. When it clicks into alignment, you then turn it in the right direction. I'll turn the lefty tighty left hand thread clockwise until the cup is seated in the threads, then turn it the right way all the way home. The T30 BB30 comes with its own wrench. Get it as tight as you can. That will give you around 35 to 38 newton meters of torque inside the recommended 35 to 45 newtons. A bit of grease on the crank spindle. On with the crank arm and crank bolt. Tighten the pinch bolts and you've gone from ancient square taper to a modern BB30 integrated crank. Give the video a like if you found it useful and also hit that subscribe button and bell notification while you're at it. Thanks for watching.